Hello friend, this is Ryan Hicks of TalkToProfit.com and for this Reseller Friday I want to talk to you about negativity in the reseller community. You know, reselling is one of those things where it is one of the easiest things you could possibly do as far as getting into a business. I've started other businesses and some of them were a lot of work. And I'm not saying reselling cannot be a lot of work, but just to get started, it's the simplest thing in the world. You, you sign up on a website to get create a selling account. You start taking some pictures of stuff. You type in a few words and you're done. And you have a listing created for the world to see that you could sell. And yet in the reselling community, there's so many negative and down people. They're whining about this problem. They're talking about this. They're, they're beating each other up. I saw a brother, Marcus Dixon. He's a good brother in the Lord. And he was talking about the people just trolling him. He's just, he's just making content to bless people and to help people. And yet people are coming and attacking him. For what reason? What are they hoping to accomplish? He's one of the few people that's actually positive in the reselling community. And people are coming to attack him. And they're trolling and just... I don't understand where all the negativity is coming from. We have one of the easiest jobs. I have other businesses and reselling is one of the easiest of all the businesses. It is a true blessing and an honor and, a, and I thank God for it every day. I literally thank God for it every day. It's a blessing. I thank God for all of my blessings in my life, but reselling is one of those things. Why are people so mad? Why are they so negative? Why are they complaining all the time? Listen, if reselling is making you negative and down and we're complaining all the time, you need to find something else to do. This is not working for you. You shouldn't be that miserable. This is an easy easy business. It's easy to get into. It's easy to grow. It's easy to scale up. There's nothing difficult about any of it. Yes, there's a lot to learn if you're coming from complete newbie status. That's all right. But it's not difficult. It's not going to be hard on you. And you can dedicate as much time as you want or as little time as you want. It's an easy, easy business that people should be blessed and should be overjoyed. They should be positive and happy about. Not negative and then searching around online to see who they can find so they can try to drag them down into their pit of negativity. And listen, I'm going to tell you, quite frankly, many people need to stop watching most of the content of supposed resellers. There's a lot of resellers who are only resellers online, meaning not that they resell online, that they only play the part of a reseller online. You can look at their stores. They have no sales. They do no money. They're not actively reselling. They're actively selling you reselling content. They only resell so they can have more content for you to watch so they can make some ad revenue from. These people also happen to normally be negative. They're always talking about this news and this drama over here and that drama. And they're always they're having little fights amongst themselves. This is not the stuff you need to be consuming. If you're going to watch any kind of reselling content, go watch Dixon's Pickens. His content is positive and upbeat, and he tells you about things that are going on, but he's not negative. He's not dragging you down into the mire with all the rest of the resellers. Watch my videos. My videos are obviously going to be positive. I'm not going to tell you you can't do something. I'm not going to tell you about, oh, this site's so terrible, and oh, it's going to look bad for the next few years. I'm not telling you any kind of nonsense like that. Because the reality is you can do whatever you want to do in the reselling business. You can be as successful as you want to be. I don't care if you failed every single year of reselling. You've been reselling for 20 years. You can be a success starting today if you want to be. There's no limitations on you. Don't let anyone tell you you can't do it. Oh, you know, it's too hard or the website's too broken or whatever they say. Don't listen to any of that. If someone's trying to drag you down or tell you you can't do more, tell you can't be more, you need to run away from those people and stop listening to them. If someone's always complaining, always moaning and groaning, always has some new thing to whine about, in the easiest business in the world, stop consuming their content. It is not good for you. It's not going to help you. It's not going to make you a better person. It's not going to make you a better reseller. It's going to drag you down in every area of your life, not just your reselling area, because that kind of negativity and true toxicity will drag you down and it will poison you. I've seen people who are very positive, 
and outgoing and they were happy and they were excited about their reselling business. They were doing well. Their numbers were going up and up and up. Everything was showing they were going to be a great success. And they started following this resell over here and that resell over here. And then, then you start hearing them whining about, well, you know, eBay has this problem or Poshmark has too high of fees. And they, they just start dragging themselves down because they're listening to other people. And next thing you know, their sales are going down. And now they're complaining about that. It's literally self-fulfilling prophecies. They've been whining about this, whining about that. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, this person had this problem over here. And then they start reaping the same problems in their own reselling business and they wonder why listen if you want go to my website i have a book called god's secret law of attraction read the book for free and understand about the law of attraction because many resellers are not understanding that in their reselling business they are attracting negativity into their lives they are attracting more bad problems site issues bad customers they are attracting all these things in their lives because of the content they're consuming, the reselling content that is negative and doom and gloom and always some problem and always something to complain about, always something to whine about. It will drag you down. There's a reason why Philippians 4.8 says that we are to think about things, only these things that are lovely and of good report. Because you naturally, as you believe, as you focus on certain things, if you're focusing on negative things, if you're not thinking about things that are lovely and a good report, you start to bring more of that into your life. Now, it happens in many ways. There's a metaphysical way of you actually attracting those things spiritually into your life, but there's also the physical material world way of you start doing things in a way that brings more bad results. Maybe you create some listings that are a little bad. So your customer thinks they're getting something a little different than what you actually are giving them and you get more returns. You start expecting you're not going to find anything when you go out sourcing because everybody's telling you about how hard it is to source. And then you go out and source and you don't find anything or you find very little or you only find stuff that's very expensive because people are talking about how the thrift shops are so expensive now. You just start creating this little bubble for yourself of negativity that seeps into every area of your life and it causes you to have a worse experience. Now, many people have known about the reticular activating system in your brain where Basically, people said, oh, I got a, a Tesla Model S. And then after they got it, they started seeing Tesla Model, Model S's all over the place. Well, it wasn't because those Model S's started appearing magically out of nowhere. They were always on the roads. They just didn't recognize them. And it's the same thing. When you get this negativity, doom and gloom bubble that you create by watching this kind of negative content that's out there, your reticular activating system starts literally filtering out the good stuff. You only find the bad stuff or the stuff that's overpriced. It's just like that when you notice the car that you just bought that you never noticed it before and now you see them all over the place. They were always there, but your brain, because listen, you have to understand, your brain is filtering out tremendous amounts of data all the time because you don't need it all. Your brain would be all, all over the place and you'd be a crazy person if you weren't having that filter, filtering out all the data coming in around you because you don't need it all. And so when you tell your brain, I need to see this information, or you start thinking about something more and focusing on it more, it changes that filter to either allow in certain things that it wouldn't have allowed in, in the past, or filter out certain things that it would have allowed in the past. That's how you get the, the actions of seeing Less items in the stores, more problem customers, more issues on the sites, more because you are literally creating this for yourself, both metaphysically and in the physical world by your actions. You have to get rid of that kind of content. Stop watching it. Stop partaking of it. Don't get in groups where people are negative. What's the purpose? Get among high value people who are productive and positive. They see the best because listen, it is the best. And this is the best time. Of, I've been reselling for decades now, over 20 years on eBay alone, longer than that on Amazon. This is one of the easiest times that it's ever been to be a reseller. You have all this data available to you so you can know and make a good purchase. You know, 20 years ago, 
We didn't have any of this data. We had to literally guess. Do we think this item, based on our knowledge that we have right at this point, is going to be an item that people would want to buy? And then we'd have to think, how many people are there out there that would want to buy this? I'll give you an example. I bought some die-cast Disney cars. I bought about 100 of them. Well, it took a long time to sell them. I didn't even sell them all. Eventually just sold them as a big bulk lot. And I made my money back from them, but it took too long because we didn't have any of this data. It was just guessing. It was just, okay, I, I know people would buy these, but I don't know if they'll buy enough of them to sell all of these in this lot. And I bought it and I did make my money back and I made some profit, but it wasn't worth all the time it took to sell. It took years to sell all those things. And to eventually, I just sold them in a bulk lot and got rid of the rest of them that didn't sell individually. It is the easiest time that it's ever been to be a reseller. And I don't care what the economy is doing. People are buying stuff left and right. Yes, if you hear the doom and gloom people, the negative people in the reselling community, they'll tell you how it's bad, how sales are down, how this problem and that problem. The reality is, if you want to keep progressing, keep pushing, keep taking more action, it is one of the best times there's ever been to be a reseller. And you can have the greatest success. I don't care if you want to earn only $1,000 a month. You can do that. I don't care if you want to earn $100,000 a month. You can do that. I don't care if you want to earn a million dollars a month. You can do that. There's nothing limiting you except your knowledge and your ability and willingness to act. But if you're listening to these negative people, they will drain you of knowledge. They will fill you with negativity. And it will cause you to not act in the proper way. It'll cause you to not find the good deals. It'll cause you not to be even be open to the best deals that would get you to a better place in your reselling business. You have to cast off this negativity and these people who are negative. I don't care how nice you think they are. If they're negative, they are hurting you. They're dragging you down and you need to avoid them. My friend, I pray this is a blessing for you. Go out there and be positive and be successful in your reselling business. May God bless you richly.